Hi there. Uh, I've recently purchased a DJI Mavic Mini drone. I haven't had any experience with drones before. Uh, I've done some photography um, some time ago, uh, but this is something new to me. And um, I've, so far I've found it quite enjoyable and uh, fun to use. However, one thing I found very difficult to find any information on was downloading the photographs from the DJI Mini. There was, or there still is, some videos on YouTube and as such that uh, directs you on how to download the video files to your phone. There was nothing that showed me how to preview or download the pictures from the DJI Mini. So in this brief video I'm just going to go through how I found um, ways to download the photographs and the videos from my DJI Mavic Mini. Uh, there was some information that I found uh, that suggested that uh, you could take the SD card out and put it into an SD card reader and then plug that into your phone or your tablet and I'm sure that uh, works fantastically however there is an easier way to do that and um, I will go through that with you and show it through with you now so here we are, just to get started. These are the pieces of equipment you're going to need to download your picture files and your video files straight to your laptop. The same thing can be done straight to your phone as well. So all it is simply is the SD card, the battery for the drone, the DJI Mavic Mini, the cable that came with the DJI Mavic Mini for charging, and in my case, um, for my laptop, I need a USB to mini USB converter. However, if your laptop doesn't require uh, mini USB connections, you may just um, be able to plug straight in with the USB, then you will only need this cable and you won't need that. However, I believe most people that do have a laptop that requires uh, mini USB connections, they would already have uh, one of these cables in their kit. So therefore, in what you see here, you don't need to purchase anything extra like an SD card reader. So let's get started with the setup of this arrangement. So obviously, if you have been out taking photos and video, your SD card would already be in place in your drone. Uh, so you just push that in and hear the click. We don't need to take that out, we don't need to remove it in this case. Insert your battery. Um, there's been a few times I've actually tried to insert this upside down. I've gotten used to it now. The connection's on the top, so just push it in and again, wait to hear it click. Close the flap. And now we're pretty much ready to download our photo files and our video files. So it's just a simple procedure of doing the connections. And as I said, in my case, I need the USB mini converter. And that would plug straight into my laptop Now I'm not sure whether it's just an anomaly with my particular drone or whether it is a uh, slight problem with these Mavic Minis. Um, I've noticed that uh, when I started using my drone 
the video cache files were downloading to my mobile phone but no picture files had been so the only way I could get them off was with this method however just now um, I flew the drone in my room here just to take some quick pics to show you how I download them and I noticed that uh, there was one or two pics on my mobile phone uh, then I landed it and I took it up again, took another couple of pics, and they weren't on my mobile phone. Um, I've noticed sometimes with the SD card slot, um, if I have an issue where it's not downloading, I need to actually release it and put it back in, and it seems to fix the problem to some extent. But as I said, um, it usually downloads the cache video files, but not the picture files. So anyway, what I do to download it to my laptop uh, is pretty much just set up your drone as normal with the SD card, the SD card in, the battery in, ready to go, all unfolded, and you power it up. So mm. take the um, lens cover off, power the drone up as usual, short tap, long tap. It'll go through its self-test. When it goes through its self-test, then um, we're happy to go. Okay, so the green light's on and we're ready to go. Now I've got my laptop up and running. So all it is, simply, as a lot of you may have already realised, just simply connecting into the Mavic Mini. There it goes, bing, bing, bing. Looking for files, and there we go. So the files that I have just taken um, two minutes ago, whilst flying it around my room, are there ready to be downloaded on my laptop. So in this case, um, I just have a Windows-based laptop. Um, so simply now that it's all connected up and ready to go, it's already, for me, it's already connected and selected all of the photos and all of the files, including these two video files, three video files that I've taken, and it's ready to download. So if I select import, it goes through the process, there we go, and the files have now been downloaded or in the process of being downloaded onto my laptop. So as you can see, that is a very simple method which most people may be aware of, um, but I wasn't aware of that. I thought I was going to have to go out and purchase an SD card reader, uh, but then I thought, oh, well, if there's got a slot in there and um, it should be able to read the same way. And as you can see, my photos now uh, of my happy smiley face are on my laptop. Oops, that was one I did yesterday. So it's finished downloading now. It's got all the different photographs that I've taken just buzzing around in my room. Um, and it's enabled me to download those pictures quite easily to, for editing purposes or for putting together into a short video. So there you go, um, new Mavic Mini users like me. Um, you don't need to purchase any extra equipment to be able to download your photos and videos. Obviously there are other videos out there that explain how you can um, download and extract the files straight from your drone onto your phone whilst it's still connected to your controller and you can extract those files that way. It is a bit of a slower process as you saw when I was downloading it onto my laptop it's quite quick um, and it downloads everything on your uh, drone SD card quite quickly. I hope this helped some other people out that may be struggling with the same issues that I was struggling with. Obviously there's a lot of uh, IT gurus out there that would have no problem with doing what I just did. But uh, for the people that are just starting out and unsure on how to do it, I hope that helped. So good luck. Happy flying.